Esther was in the age of photojournalism, sort of this golden age of photojournalism. She worked for Life, Look, um, Ladies Home Journal. She was involved with commercial work as well as, you know, high art. Um, so she was a working woman and what this show is great at doing is showing that range. I'm Ann Dugan, I'm the curator at the Duluth Art Institute and we're standing in the first retrospective of Esther Bubbly's work uh, back home in her hometown, uh, the Twin Ports. We start with her first assignment um, at the Office of War Information, the bus story. After the Office of War Information, she followed Roy Stryker to Standard Oil. And so what they did is they hired a team of photographers to go around and photograph what they would call a drop of oil in everything. And then again with Standard Oil, she did another bus stop series. Um, and so this one actually is in um, waiting rooms. So she actually just went over to um, Grand Central Station and photographed people in the waiting room. And this one in particular I think is just fantastic, the expressions on the people's face. Like any photojournalist, she would do um, projects. So another project that she did was at the Pittsburgh um, Children's Hospital, and she did this wonderful series of an emergency tracheotomy. These four are actually from a series of 13 that were picked up by Edward Steichen, who was um, at the Museum of Modern Art at the time, saw them and just was thrilled by the work and included them in a show at the MoMA because of just the drama that she was able to capture in those 13 photos. This actually was the first project that she did for life. Um, they hired her to do and this was on the cover. Included with the vintage prints are the magazine uh, tear sheets from the stories that her work was a part of. So the I'm the Housewife with 10 thumbs, um, we have uh, two of the original vintage prints and then the story that goes along with it. Esther grew up in Superior, Wisconsin. Her father ran an auto body repair shop. Her mom ran a general store. So it wasn't a high class family. It was very much a working family. So she would bring the camera back to when she would visit, but she also was assigned a few projects by Standard Oil to come back to the Twin Ports and photograph. So she spent some time on the Henry Ford II um, with Standard Oil photographing daily life on the boat. We have ore dock workers. It's a real treat to have both a local connection of the photographer, but then to have photographs of our area of this famous photographer. The other thing that we have going on this summer is a whole series of enhancement activities. So not only do we have gallery guides on staff during open hours, we also have special tours um, by people that can um, talk about um, Esther in particular. We're working with the Douglas County Historical Society and having experts there come and speak to us about Esther. It's neat to bring it all full circle. The exhibit's Esther Bubbly on assignment, and it's on view right now at the Duluth Art Institute and will be up until August 7th. Funding for The Playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.